All right, so you want to control your iTunes library from an Apple Watch, an iPhone. I'm going to show you how to set that up. Just note that this only works in Mojave and lower, 10.14 Mac OS and lower. And the reason being is because Apple has not built in the remote functionality into the music app. They switched it all up in Catalina and... and uh, tore apart iTunes and kind of broke it apart into a couple different apps and the music app does not have that remote capability so what you'd want to do on a Catalina system is use uh, the control your Mac from your iPhone video that I did and use those steps and completely control the Mac from your iPhone manually clicking through your iTunes uh, unlike the way I'm going to show you now but for now if you have a Mojave or below system you can use this process and, and so many people have been using this for years and they're really upset uh, uh, that it doesn't no longer work in Catalina right so it's kind of a bummer but uh, let's get this set up on the iPhone first then we'll set up the Apple Watch and we'll be able to have them both working at the same time um, as remotes for my iTunes library on this Mac right here. All right, so I've got my iPhone here. I'm going to navigate to the App Store, download iTunes Remote app. It's got a 2.3 rating primarily because it does not work on Catalina right now so everybody's just complaining and giving it bad ratings so let's click open on this and I had this set up already so what we would do is if nothing was set up we'd click manual setup it's gonna uh, set up a pin right there and immediately what we're gonna see oh, because I'm connected right here um, if I wasn't connected and sharing this it's a different icon and actually um, let me just disconnect this iPhone real quick one sec here so now you see how it switched so I, I was basically add that pin up so now if I click this little icon I can hit the the pin that I had seen and now let me plug my iPhone back in and see if it will connect back up come on now is it gonna yeah sweet okay so I I still have my I've got my phone here on the right and now that I've launched the iTunes remote I can just literally come here pick a song and now that's playing on my Mac I'm controlling the Macs I'm controlling the Macs music now so now I've got one remote connected. Let me uh, set up the um, Apple Watch now and show you how easy that is. All right, so you can see in the background my iTunes. I'm going to open this up. The remote app is on my Apple Watch already. As soon as I click it, Gonna say add device 7737. You saw the little icon pop up right on the desk on the iTunes. <clears throat> I'm just gonna go click that icon 7737, and boom, that is how it's done. Now I can control that music from from both my Apple Watch and my iPhone now. Now if we want to 
get rid of those Apple remotes, we just go up to the iTunes window here, down to Preferences, click on the Devices tab right here, and forget all remotes. And you can see iTunes is paired with two remotes. That's it. That's all that it takes to set up both your iPhone and your Apple Watch. Hopefully you guys like the video and you're subscribed to the channel. Make sure you click that little bell so that you get the latest and greatest uh, next videos. And uh, you guys have an awesome day. Take care.